What most people out there want to know is, how the hell does that work? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh. Uh, that, that, oh, just touch a little bit. That looks like it hurts. That's seven, seven eighths of an inch. Seven eighths of an inch? <laughs> That's about the size of your, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, we won't go there. Yeah, I started. friend and founder of La Gloria, Gabriel Velasquez. Gabriel, we do a YouTube show called None Your Business. All right. <laughs> and we talk to different people. Obviously, you are the founder of La Gloria. But anyway, we talk to different people and get their story. So we want to know all about La Gloria. Can you give us a quick summary, uh, one minute or so of La Gloria, who you are, what you do, what's going on here? Looks like a lot of fun. Well, Una Noche en la Gloria is an economic development or uh, project for creative individuals struggling in the creative economy. We bring people together to create a situation that they may not have otherwise. So uh, it's an opportunity to take awesome. them through the hard part. And we take advantage of that. So that means that if a person has got an ambition that they're going to do something, well, we tell them, okay, here, do it here. And we move them through the motions of everything that it takes and challenge them at every level. And you, what do you got out here? A bunch of different types of artists? We've got bands, poets, painters, uh, fashion, uh, all full realm of what is the creative arts in San Antonio or the creative economy in San Antonio. Man, this is like the eighth or ninth year? This is the eighth year. Eighth year, awesome. And what's this? I know what this is, but tell the people, Ernest, can you get a, a shot of that behind us? Well, un, Una Noche en la Gloria, this is the fashion one way right here. And you can see the artists behind is Vicky Jones and uh, Angela Swenson and uh, Kyle Otto. And that's that's the famous painting from uh, the famous mural from Jesse Trevino, who's the co-founder of this project. You'll notice the sign over there in the yellow building, yeah. Avenida Guadalupe. That's the organization that sponsors this project. Awesome. And as you oh go around, gosh. there's a stage to the left. And behind that yellow building is a massive massive plaza that is dedicated to the youth and their rock scene so there's a rock and roll stage behind that with all kinds of other art I mean it's multifaceted it's called Una Noche en la Gloria because it's only for one night that means that everything comes in one night and everything goes out one night it's a fabulous fabulous show if you haven't been out here you gotta come out it's every year around this time of year uh, in, in October, October the second weekend of October it's a fabulous show you're really missing something you need to come down to the west side and see what's going on yes it's the best in town Okay, well, thank you so much. We know you're busy. Hey, thank you, Wave. Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, I'm here with another artist, and your name, sir? Uh, Nacho Picasso. All right, Nacho, show us here. What, what is this? What What have you done here? Uh, I've been painting for two years. I know this two is the years? Eighth, this is the eighth annual, but this is my first time here at this event uh, showcasing my art. Yeah. And, uh, you know, been doing pretty good, actually. I got uh, big pieces. I got small pieces from two and a half inch sizes right here in the corner. Uh, what What are you drawing here? Uh, just whatever comes to my mind, you know. Yeah. It's just, yeah, all kinds of outside the box. I don't want to be stuck in one category, so it's just... You know, all Whatever inspires you? Yes, sir. Like I said, you know, you know, Pablo Picasso. I'm no Picasso. That's why I came up with the name Nacho Picasso. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nacho Picasso. Did you get that? Or Picasso. <laughs> That's what it is. I like that. I like Two years ago, did you? No, yes. I, I was going through Hobby Lobby with my wife. We were walking, looking for something completely different. <laughs> and uh, I was just seen all the art paint stuff. I said, man, I feel like painting should I do it. <laughs> and you know, I didn't know if I was grabbing acrylic or oh water. I grabbed oil it's paint. Good. I grabbed oil paint and I've been doing it ever since. Wow. Two years. People get a hold of his work. Yeah, uh, he's going to tell us. Tell us how we can get a hold of your work. Well, you can follow me on Instagram. Okay. Uh, currently, that's my main base right now. And it's a uh, hashtag uh, Nacho Picasso. You can tag me. Or, there it is, right there. N-O-T-Y-O-P-I-C-A-S-S-O. Nacho Picasso. So, how much do these paintings go for? Uh, well, like I said, I'm a beginner, so my... They're free. <laughs> Show the mic. Oh, this one's yours? Yeah, 38 Chevy sedan. Wow. Master Deluxe. And your and yours? Oh, I got the 55 Chevy. Oh, cool. So tell me about what you do. Uh, just restore them, you know, to 
best as we can and enjoy them, drive yeah. them. You actually drive them around? Oh yeah. All around town? Everywhere. Yeah. In town, out of town. No trailer queens here. <laughs> no trailer Our queens. Culture. Yeah, so anyway, uh, tell me a little bit about the car culture because, um, you know, some people got ideas uh, that, you know, they're bad guys, they're lawbreakers. Uh, is, I mean, I know, like, I know it's like not. They lawbreakers to me. Are they? Yeah. Are y'all lawbreakers? No. No. You look like you have a full time job somewhere. I, I, I just don't have insurance and, and <laughs> the car's not registered, but no. I mean, not, we don't break the law. Come on, man. <laughs> You know, everybody's got a different view on, on what they drive and, you know, yeah. it's, it's not gang related like, you know, people yeah. assume, you yeah. know. Uh, I, I mean, a lot of people don't know about this event, you know, I mean, they just okay. don't know about La Gloria coming yeah, down here. Yeah, La Gloria and, itself and, has been here for, yeah, for at least eight years now. Yeah, this, eight, is, the, years, this yeah. is, I think, the eighth year that we've yeah. done it. Yeah, have you come by every year? Yeah, I've helped Gabriel Velasquez yeah. uh, since. He did. It was formerly Luminaria. That's what Luminaria, he started yeah, with yeah. Uh, Nelson Wolf. Right. And then we kind of split up, and we came yeah. over here and did, you know, kind of yeah. like the. I'm not gonna say Hispanic version, but we did yeah. our own our own thing over here yeah. because of the little, you know, running that we had. So uh, <laughs> there was a running. Oh, so they fired all the white people? Is, that's kind of <laughs> what it was, I, I, I think. No. But no, I think it was more of a, instead of bringing, you know, artists and whatnot from here locally, you know, they were supporting people from elsewhere oh, yeah, to do that. That's, that's and that's not what we want. We want to help the people that are from here, the culture, the, you know, what, what, what. All right, we have another artist here. What's your name? I'm Gerardo. Gerardo, okay, tell us about your art. Uh, well, I mean, I started doing live art in about, I think well, it was March. I started doing it out live in front of people, and this, so far, this, so good. This looks very different from everybody else's yes. stuff. Yeah, it's very different. It's a little dark. It's a different market, and um, I don't know. It, it's it's going well. It's going all right. Yeah? Yeah. How much are, uh, oh, the prices are right on there. That's yeah, the good. prices are right on there because it's oversaturated with vendors right now. There's so many vendors that people only have about two seconds to look at your stuff and they got two seconds to make up their oh, mind. This guy knows what he's doing. So, yeah. so in order in order yeah. to avoid all that, how much is this, how much is that, I just yeah, put the price right on there. The right there, there. You can make up your mind right there. Yeah, so. works for me. Oh, awesome. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been painting for about 11 months now. Golly, man. We just talked to a guy with a couple of years, 11 months? 11 months. Uh, it's just practice, well, practice, practice. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. 11 months? 11 months. Painting? Did you always want to paint? or what? I always wanted to paint. I just never, I was too scared. I was kind of like scared to take that risk. Yeah. And I just, I said, go for it last year. And I what, just. What do you do for a living? Uh, this is what I do for a living. I'm really? a full-time freelance artist now. In 11 months, you're yeah. full-time? So how much do you make? Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, if we, if we uh, ask you a question you don't like, all you have to say is none of your business. Right on. Uh, <laughs> I guess that means none of our business. That's classified. Oh, okay. So good, but you're making a living off of it. I'm making a living. Are you married? I am not married. Not married, guys. Yeah. Okay, so the w single women. Uh, oh, my. I'm well, I know, but I'm trying, I'm trying to find somebody for you. 